Hey everybody, I'm Cam, this is Seb, and Fallout 4 is now a thing that we know stuff about. Loads about! Mm -hmm. Loads about! In fact, they, they told us all about how the game's gonna run, they gave us some of the spoilers of how the story's gonna go, uh, except it wasn't a spoiler, because uh, Todd Howard said so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, except it totally was, uh, and we know heaps about the uh, customization in the game, and of yes. course, that tickles our little modding bone. Exactly, we are of course mod yes, <laughs> modding bone? It's a real bone. modding bone? I have one of those. Of course. Uh, we are of course talking about the E3 press conference, the first ever Bethesda E3 press conference that happened mm. yesterday. Yes. <clears throat> and um, we stayed up all night in the UK to, to watch it, yeah. and uh, it, was, it was definitely worth it. I'm really Fallout glad we did it. Fallout 4 was the highlight, and of course, as Seb said, our modding bones were tingling, yeah. because there is more potential, I think, we think, than ever before mm. once the modding community actually get their hands on this game. So, I love first Bethesda off, for doing this. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. It's just like they one of the. They better give the SDK. Every single sure game they, they do, they go like, mm, how much control and, and crafting capability do we want to give our players from, yeah. the, from the get go? It's like. Uh, Oblivion, we'll give, we'll give you some, and then in uh, Fallout 3, oh yeah, actually quite a lot here now. Uh, Skyrim, oh, loads! And now this, is like, they they always seem to look to the modding community, take chunks, add it to their base yeah. game, which means that like, just the game has been built around, like, creativity. Yes. Which is great news for us modders for when the SDKs and things like that are going to come out. Yeah, now it's not clear, we haven't seen that much of the game, so we can't tell, oh, you know, they've, they've moved, removed this mod from Skyrim and put mm. it in Fallout 4, or this mod from New Vegas and put it in Fallout 4. What we're seeing, though, is this commitment to giving just everyday players yeah. so much creativity. And the main things that we've really seen this creativity is in the weapon crafting, mm -hmm. the potential of like flying vehicles. We saw the player in one of those. <sighs> That's going to be so cool. Building settlements, yeah. not just houses, but full settlements. And not on a hearth fire mm -hmm. way where you approach a bench and then you takes you into menus. Yeah. Like you're physically going around placing things and building up these societies. Which is much better. Really exciting. That was one of the weaker parts of hearth fire in, um, in Skyrim was yes. that it was just like a single thing of you bashing away at a desk yeah. and time would pass and and the same thing would pop up and i think they knew that after they released that that they were like eh, it was a bit that the dlc was, was a bit crap well there was <laughs> it was too far removed from the player yeah you know like you did an action and then on this bench in the menu and then you waited and then the thing was there and you didn't mm. you were kind of like i don't really know what this is going to look like until you walk in you're like oh it yeah. looks like this i guess yeah. i did this and you have this is completely this different these things and this like four yeah you go around the world, in fact, we'll, we'll talk about each one in more detail in a minute, mm. but basically, I think where we really want to start, the biggest one that we got was the most excited of all, yes. was the weapon crafting, so let's have a look at that. So it looks like the approach they're using for weapon crafting now is basically that you can plug any elements into any other elements, mm. and basically create whatever weapon you want. And what we're seeing in the moment is how, as always in Fallout, there's loads of different things scattered around the environment. And some of them before were never really much use, they were just things you could pick up just to give that world that, that post-apocalyptic feel and you see, you know, throwbacks from society. Yeah. But now all these things can be broken down into their constituent parts and then used to build basically any weapon you want. Yeah, so in, in Fallout 3 there were seven base weapons that you could craft yes. by finding specific materials. And I think yeah. what they've done is gone, well that was quite cool, what if we give you, what so if... it's 50 base weapons this time yeah. with 700 modifications that can be added to those. And like, that to me is just a massive teaser. That's like going, well we've gotten started here, like these are the ones that are gonna yeah. get things going for you, mm -hmm. and ultimately almost, like, I, I'm, I'm prepared to put down money. that. <laughs> That will be one of the first things that we can then change in the future. So we'll be able yeah. to add new base weapons and new So if we look at the moment, for yeah. example, that he's modding the baseball bat with all these different types of things you can stick on it. Yeah. And he stuck blades on it. If you, those blades could be applied to any of 700 different weapons, pretty yeah. much, right? So imagine well, four, if- f 50 weapons. Sorry, f sorry, any of yeah. if 50 weapons, sorry. Um, yeah. But if you imagine, if you, if you put in a different type of blade, or something completely different. I don't know, maybe a, a microphone. I don't know, anything, right? It doesn't really matter. If, if you mod that into the game, that can then be applied to any weapon. So what I'm seeing is like, it says there like current mods, and you've got like mod slots. Yeah. And then you could, um, I mean, it, it depends whether it's like, okay, this mod slot is a, it's like a slider bracket that you can yes. only put like a very specific three things on there. Or if any mod can be applied to any mod slot. 
as it were. Because then you can simply add new mod slots or add like mm -hmm. a new, mm, I'm going to call it rail. A new you know? rail, like, yeah. So the idea, imagine if you had like a rail on the top and that would be where you would put your scope mod, okay. for example, or sure. your laser sight mod or anything like that. Maybe you could put a rail where you could add another gun. Yeah, you know, why not? It's like two guns. Now it's a gun that goes side by side. I think base, what it's reminding me of most is yeah. Borderlands 2. And the, oh, yeah. their approach to guns in Borderlands 2 was it was a random algorithm that you know reached out into the the inventory of all the weapon bits and plugged them together and that's what you would find. Hmm. Basically what Bethesda is doing is allowing you to build that, you know, rather than it being a random weapon, you collect all the bits and then you can piece together whichever bits you want to create your own thing. So basically it should be one of those situations where rarely are you using the same weapon as anyone else in the game and any of your friends who are playing it and you know you shouldn't find it won't be like you find you know exact clones of all the different weapons in the game mm. every time you find something new on the ground it's going to it's going to be different yeah. and that's before mods are even involved but that's, that's what, going to be really that's cool. what makes these games like really 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 time consuming <laughs> yeah. because those for people like me and probably people like him. In fact, just all people. That means that no longer are you going to be kind of just running around the world going like, oh, there is a load of junk. I appreciate the junk. Yes. I acknowledge the junk even. But I don't and need I the say, junk. And I say, well, this junk does make this world feel very wholesome and real. Wholesome is probably the wrong word. <laughs> but at least now, you're going to see a pile of junk and you're going to be like, well, there's the next hour lost as you like yeah. pick through everything. Sifting through for the glass bottles because you need glass to build the scope for yeah. your crazy gun with grenades attached to the front of it. I don't know, like, that's what it's going to be about. Yeah. So you can lose yourself, and that's just a weapon crafting. There is I, other new bits to this. I hope you can, the, one of the first mods, if it's not already in there, yeah. that I, I want to see uh, will be a bayonet mod. A bayonet so basically, mod. like, if you remember Fallout 3 and they had the shish kebab, which was yes. one of the craftable weapons. Mm. If you could add that as like a bayonet onto something like the atomic plasma rifle, so yeah. you can be blasting around and then, and then do some jabbing while you're at yeah. it, you know. Why not? Why not? I mean, bayonets may already be a thing in there. If not, I don't that know. can be added, I'm sure, pretty easily. Yeah. And then, of course, there's armor as well, which we're seeing again, which has the same approach. I mean, that's he's modding the power armor there. I love how it's, like, held up by these big cranes. <laughs> it's really cool. It's got a really alien kind of vibe to me. Anyway, yeah. um, so he's attaching mods and, and mixing up the armor. That's really cool. I mean, to be fair, what he's doing is just making small adjustments, going like, or oh, I'm going to put, like, a... From what I can tell, I mean, yeah. it's difficult to see there, but it looked like he's adding, you know, um, slightly more powerful leg plates or some flame decals. And yeah. it's important to have flame decals, you, you know, need, because you people need, need to know you that you can decals. run really, really fast. Exactly. And I think it would be cool um, when people are adding, like, weapon and armor mods together. So instead of, like, let's add a new chest plate, let's add a new chest plate that has a weapon attached to it, for Why example. Why not? I don't know. They, like, Maybe that's possible. I don't, I don't know. Or it's if you've got vehicles exciting. as well, like, do, do, do the armor mods and the vehicle mods combine in some way? Well, I don't know. So vehicles is an interesting one, because yeah. so far, obviously, we are basing a whole of this conjecture on only the gameplay that we saw yeah. last night. And there was, no, there was no footage of anyone driving around in a car, hmm. but your character did get in... Um, an airship basically which took off and you were manning a gun and the commands jump or land were there I think so you know there yeah. was, there, there's obviously these are vehicles that you I don't know if you can pilot them probably you can certainly be a passenger in them so, so if there's planes I'm thinking there's got to be cars already there's got to be some form of there vehicles. will be I yeah. mean and which it, is it looks like something that could be quite easy to implement especially if you think back to Skyrim when they added in um, the ability to fly on dragons. Yes. Right? So yeah. they didn't add full control. That wasn't something that they gave you. They gave you the ability to call the dragon, get on the dragon, and go to a particular area and kind of circle. Yeah. Right? That's, yeah. So it wasn't full control, and it's hard to see from this Whether if it is full control as well. I hope, it's, I hope it is but, full control. You but... know, that's where the whole, like, let's, do, let's, let's see what all the modding dudes are doing. Oh, yeah. they're doing that really well. It would be cool if they add that in well, at the beginning. Because that's why I'm excited about vehicles. Because one, one of the most popular mods in New Vegas, actually, mm. was a, a, like a movable home. So yeah. you could get a vehicle which had a caravan on it, and oh. you could change the in interior. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, if you're a drifter, you're a wanderer, like having like a base like that, which you can travel rather than having to use fast travel, okay. you know, this makes a lot of sense. So I hope that's in there. I, I, I really hope that's in there. I want to say Howl's Moving Castle mod. <laughs> that would be amazing. Somebody make that. Somebody yes. make that, and that would be a really complicated, really complicated yes, it would be. texture. Yes, it would be. It would be really difficult, and yes. somebody make it. 
Okay, Please. so okay, next we've covered the weapons. Yeah, we, we what we think there's going to be about vehicles. We yeah. haven't seen much. That's sort of that's yeah. quite brief. The other big thing that got yeah. us really excited. Yeah, was the building of houses and settlements. Mm. You can basically dismantle anything and use it to help you rebuild a a settlement. Yes. In more or less like so, this is in kind of like a cube form. You know, it's like this yeah. section, this section, this section, and that's kind of cool. But one of the things he did point out was that they were in very specific locations. So you can tell that that's all being built on what looks like a very con like definite concrete slab floor. Exactly. So he's saying like there are going to be tons of different locations, but what we're obviously going to need from the modding community is either adding new locations or mixing up the functionality so that you can basically build anywhere. So basically what it looks like these things are, are these areas are doing is they're set up for you as the player to create settlements. Yeah. Including like your home, but then beyond that you can create other homes so other people come and live there as well. Mm. You can create stalls for vendors, which yeah. you see going on here. So you can really build these whole these whole communities and then of course they will be attacked by raiders so you can build defenses. Yeah. We're going to see that in a minute. So it's almost like this whole meta game within the game which is all about building a sustainable survivable surviving even yeah. community survivable yeah it's word. in the Mod future that word, that, word, the yeah. <laughs> that word is the is the way of the future this for me is really exciting and this this is the most exciting bit about it okay. it's electricity like look oh, imagine yes. now we have power yeah imagine what modding communities can do with this. Just think about Minecraft. Okay, right? so... You said this reminds you of Redstone and Minecraft. This this is what gets me super excited because it is, is exactly that. So in the what we're seeing here is like, you know, everyone's wiring into the generator, which means this can be powered. But it if it's not there from the get-go, what I can imagine is definitely like a, a circuit board mod system. As you say, very similar to that in Minecraft. Yeah. Where you can say, all right, well, with enough time, you can build anything because it's just basic, you know, computer mechanics. Mm -hmm. And so what they've got there are, are some fairly simple things going, this turret is powered, therefore this turret can defend our community. Yeah. But you could create your whole, like a whole new kind of defense system, algorithm, anything really. Yeah. And then it immediately becomes limitless, which is awesome. And, um, I mean, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, like, say yeah. you're building defenses for your town. If people can mod in, like, I don't know, some sort of springboard platform, yeah. you could have defenses where if a guard triggers a laser, then the springboard activates, and you could be, like, flinging raiders away using ah, that would be springboards. Awesome. So, like, so, all right, so what I'm picturing is guard ro walks on a springboard, springboard activates, guard flies off, and then turrets target in a kind of like a clay pigeon, clay pigeon shooting, shooting yeah, yeah. esque. Brilliant. Uh, I mean, and, the, and, and we'll mod that. We'll make that. We'll, we'll, we'll try. Okay. We'll It'll make the clay work. pigeon shooting we'll defense system. But the point is, with every single one of these features that we're talking about now, the weapons, the building, the vehicles, mm. it's just laying the groundwork for a whole new type of modding system. I reckon the big Fallout and Skyrim modders must, I really hope they're they're rubbing their hands together with glee looking at this trailer we saw last night. Because we are, as yeah. users of mods, it does seem like this whole loads more potential to create cool things. Yeah. But mm. that said, there are still a whole load of classic mods from Skyrim, from Fallout New Vegas, that we want to see in this game, modded yes. into this game, if, if they don't exist there already. Obviously, we don't know the ins and outs of what's there yet. Yeah. I mean, we're going to speculate on things that now which we want to see. They might already be in the game. It's we okay. Seen. We, we, get to, we get to play the ignorance card yes, right now. Yes, we and do, because we don't know. Yeah. All right, so. Behinds won't return my Ignorantly calls. speaking, I'm going to say uh, we're going to need, obviously, the classics to return. Things yes. like ENBs, uh, the graphics mods, because, of course, the new... Fallout yes. 4 look is very saturated, it's very, very colourful. It's very stylish. I yeah. was just thinking the entire time, this reminds me of The Incredibles. I mean, the only one who got this, like, the facial structure of the people, the colours, it just made me think Incredibles. Anyway, I mean, that was just hmm. me. But the point is, as yeah. we've seen with The Witcher 3, people don't always love a super saturated look. And no. the most popular mod for The Witcher 3 right now is the one that makes it more desaturated and moody. I guarantee you, one of the first mods we'll see will be a graphics mod. <laughs> I'm going to call it, makes it the brown mod. The brown mod that'll make yeah. everything brown and green and make yeah. it look like Fallout of before. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that'll happen. So if you're not a big fan of the saturated graphics and you're playing on PC, don't worry about it. That'll be a thing that's fixed very early on. Will there be vault mods? So instead of Ooh. being able to just mod exterior houses, can you build your own vault? That might well. That may well be. Or even one just mod. Of, yeah, mod the existing of the, ones. One of the sites that. 
Todd Howard talked about. Could well be a Because he bot. didn't tease anything along those lines. No, so we haven't seen anything inside that. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be really cool. So one of the things Todd also explained was that there is going to be a Pip-Boy app that you can get on your phone, uh, it, whether it's Apple or Android. Um, and then if you get the, the collector's edition of the game, you also get an actual Pip-Boy arm holder device thing mm. that you can put your phone in. Um, so here's my idea. How about, as well as being able to mod the base game on PC, you can also create a, your own companion app under license um, that works with any in-game Pip-Boy mods. So the idea is that not. in Fallout 4, you can have the Pip-Boy app running on your arm, on your phone, yes. that ties in as like a secondary screen from the main game. So if, like, if mods on the PC came along that modified the way the Pip-Boy works in-game, if you could make it a modded companion app that was good to go. Certainly easier on um, Android because, you know, you just chuck whatever you want up there. Mm -hmm. um, how, how cool would that be? Like, let's take the mods out of the PC and onto your phone. So what type I think of things awesome. are, you, are you thinking of? So, all right, let's take Sky UI as an example. Okay. Yeah, so Sky UI in Skyrim was one of the most popular... In fact, it is, it is the, the most, most popular, popular mod, mod yeah. going. And it simply makes people the UI... really care about yeah. UIs. Exactly. Like, if that's something Bethesda can learn from modding, is people want a useful, yeah. attractive... Minimal UI. Well, the thing is, like in games like Skyrim, and it's going to be even more so in Fallout 4, you're going to spend so much time in the UI, you know, pulling bits of crap apart to create <laughs> some new crap that you can explode and yep. hurl at people's heads like teddy bears and stuff. You're going to have all this stuff and you're going to spend so much time in the UI, you may want to change it in some way. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the base Pip-Boy is going to be good, but, you know, we're geniuses. So someone's definitely going to come up with a better one. I like how you're laying, you know, the challenge for someone. Don't, don't just mod the game. Make a whole app. Yeah. You could. I mean, why yeah, not? Yeah, you can. So, like, you mod the, the uh, UI app on the Pip-Boy, then move it across onto the phone. I think that's a cool idea. Yeah. Absolutely. That's I, thinking I big. Keep I, like, I like that thinking. Thinking yes. big. Well, I mean, we're going to have many, many years of Fallout 4 to mod because, you know, the, the lifespan of these uh, Bethesda games is is a long, is very long. You know, Skyrim is over three years old now, yeah. and we're not going to see Elder Scrolls 6 for at least another two, three years. No, so no. we're talking about a six year lifespan often for these games. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk a bit more about specific old mods mm. that we want to see. Yeah. Return in Fallout 4. And ones that are close to our heart. Okay. Dog. So, dog. Dog. I'm putting dog out there. Okay. So dog meat in Fallout 3. Well, in, just dog meat in general in Fallout. It's like mm -hmm. the, the companionship is one of the main like story beats that you've yes. got with your, with your companion there. Because it's meant to be such a barren, desolate world. So dog mods are huge. Yeah. So I want to add Boston Dynamics <laughs> Robo Dog. Yes, <laughs> that'd be perfect. It's in Boston. It is. Yes. It's, 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 it works. It totally works. So I think dog mods. Uh, if you can turn dog meat into cow meat, for example, yes, or, or cow meat would be rather great. It, not cow meat. If we're just, going law just, friendly, um, <laughs> Brahmin, so, Brahmin, Brahmin, Brahmin yeah. meat. Um, so I think that's going to be a really, really popular one. And. What what would you like to see? Because I've got another really good idea. Well, I want to see obviously some sort of chickens that will explode in Fallout yes, 4. Yes. That must be a mod. I mean, chickens might not be a thing. We don't always see them That's in right. Fallout. Okay, so but day one mod ramen chickens. Will be, yeah. Someone add chickens into the day floor two mod fauna. exploding yeah. chickens. Yes. Day three mod change old Brahmin to cow. Yeah. You Just know. called cow. Just called cow. Yeah. They're all called cow. And then exploding cows. Yeah. These are all things that we need to see. I want to see a mod where you can put a vocoder on the dog so that it translates every one of his barks, but all of his barks say, I love you. <laughs> I, I like the idea that, um, because we see in the game um, when the character is you know, ordering the dog around, like, go yeah. here, collect that. I like to see a mod where you speak to the dog in dog language. Mm. So every command you issue is a different type of woof. That'd be good. I don't know, like, even in this, in the in the trailer that we were shown yesterday, uh, for finding a dog out in in a barren world where he must have had to fend for himself, it's very little a hunt. Isn't he well He's behaved? very obedient. Like, he's very well trained. Crazy. Dog, go here, fetch this. So like, okay, new master. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's he's the best. <laughs> dog, massage my hands. <laughs> so oh. yes. The other really popular mods from Skyrim that I would like to see return is the Dance of Death. Now, Fallout oh, yeah. 3 and New Vegas were really gruesome, and we've already seen in the gameplay from yesterday. All of that system is pretty good for that. Yeah, they, we saw a guy getting his head exploded by launching teddy bear. So we're going to see, there's going to be gruesomeness in this game anywhere. Yeah. But the great thing about Dance of Death is 
when you play, when you spend hundreds of hours in these games, which we're all going to, yeah. you get bored of seeing the same kill moves, kill animations all the time, you know? I mean, yeah. Fallout was suffered from it a bit less in Skyrim because frequently things were getting blasted and they bounced off other things and you'd get a variety there. Mm. But I would love to see more kill moves. No matter, Bethesda, no matter how many you've done, yeah. that's not enough. So we need to mod more in. Well, if we can somehow take some of the uh, melee kill moves from Skyrim and simply port them over. Why not? That would be a good they, start. They may well have done that anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So definitely want kill moves. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to see adjusted are the slow motion um, mechanics. Yeah. So the current physics on the way they do the slow motion, we saw a little hint teaser in the VAT system yes. in this trailer, and it didn't make me happy. No, um, it look, it look it looked a bit, everything looks a bit like it's floating. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, when he he gets that last shot in, and it's like, quick zoom into his face and kind of misses, and then quick zoom into the... It, it was never very good in Fallout 3. It doesn't look like they've made it much better. So if someone can mod that to make it way, way better, that would be a good start. Or just to let you choose, you know, mm. what type of camera angles you want during the kill moves. Like, yeah. Not to death allow that. Like, what percentage do you want it? Do you want it to be in third person or first person? All these mm -hmm. kind of things. Yeah. So that'd be really cool. Um, I mean, we mentioned the graphics already. Yeah. Um, we mentioned mainly the saturation. There's also going to be like, there's going to be EMBs. Yeah, I can't wait for I mean, EMBs. This game is already. Now, I'll, I'll confess, when I first watched the the first trailer they set out. Yeah. I think a lot of people, including myself, were like, it looks a, quite similar to Fallout. Three in New Vegas, and yeah. maybe the leap, the leap that we saw, for example, from Oblivion to Skyrim was huge. Yes, and I think the leap here is not as much, or it, it's in certain things. I mean, the lighting is one thing, is one area where it already looks really great. Yeah, I think one of the things that made it hard to make that comparison is because in Oblivion and Skyrim, of course, the world is very lush. It's it yeah. is a lush landscape, and that's what makes it so beautiful. I remember the first time that you walked down to Riverwood in Skyrim, uh, especially if you played Oblivion the day before I did. Mm. You're just like, this game is beautiful. There's so much more things everywhere. Yeah, but of course, like the whole concept of Fallout is that it is dead and barren and completely devoid of functioning life. And and so maybe that, that comparison's harder to make. Of course, when it's running on PC, like a super powerful PC with all these mods cranked up, I, I think there's it's gonna look I mean, incredible. It is gonna look. It is gonna look great. It yeah. is gonna look really cool. Um, I mean, if we just we're just looking at some of the environments now, they do look really, uh, really varied, which is exciting. Hmm. So that that also with new, if people are wanting to create new quests and new areas, you know, if the guys who when they finally finish Project Nevada, which by the way is a, a mod for New Vegas, which I mentioned earlier, mm. which hasn't been finished yet, yeah. and I love how the guys making it are like, yeah, Fallout Four looks really cool. We're gonna keep working on this project though, and yeah. there's gonna be we're gonna think of this as a Fallout New Vegas new game. Well, of course, when Skyrim came out, the the modding scene for Oblivion didn't exactly didn't... slow down, so well, it was it probably slowed down, but it didn't wow. stop. Yeah, exactly. So it didn't so stop. It's fine. So I mean, um, if you're already into modding Vol uh, Fallout New Vegas, you can kind of think of yourself of getting two new Fallouts this year because, of course, we're gonna get New Vegas, uh, the the new uh, Project Nevada, and also we're gonna get Fallout Four. Yeah. So you're gonna have loads of new stuff. So there was one last thing that I would like to see make it properly into the modding community this time. Mm -hmm. Now, Skyrim was dabbling in it and never really quite got it working properly, but people were trying it, and now that we know it is kind of possible, it would be really cool if someone could create a Fallout server and add a multiplayer element to it. Because it, they did try in Skyrim, and they got really, really close. You know, it, it did technically work, it was a bit buggy and broken, but given how much creativity you have over this landscape, mm. how much you can build, I see quite a lot of like Minecraft crossover potential. If you're gonna have yeah. the ability to craft like whole communities together, why not do it with an actual community of people? Um, I know it's a real game hack to do that. Yeah, but... and Bethesda are not big on multiplayer, obviously. You know, well, no, of course it's not. Like it was never gonna be built into the game, but like if well, if it yeah. could be done. How cool would that be? Like, yeah, I feel like if there was going to be multiplayer in this game, they would have mentioned it yesterday. No, of course they yeah. will. Yeah, yeah, of course they would. But that's why I want people to hack it in. Yeah, completely. Sure. No, I was just thinking, like, I wonder if maybe it could exist, but no, I'm sure they would have mentioned it. I just don't. Yesterday. I don't see why that's impossible. Yeah, I, you know? I don't think it is. <laughs> so basically, to summarize, yes. Oh my goodness, there's loads of new exciting stuff. 
and modding on top of it is just going to make the potentials almost limitless as yeah. always so we're a little bit excited as you might have gathered yeah I um think so. but what did you guys make did you watch the bethesda press conference like yeah. we did did you did fallout 4 make you as excited as it has made us is there anything you're not liking the look of anything any mods glaring obvious mods that we've missed that you'd yeah. love to see let us know in mm. the comments. Tweet directly at us. I'm at CamFrazRob. Yep, I'm at ReadySebiGo. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to YouTube channel, yes. what are you doing? Sort your life out. Please Go do that. Subscribe That's the thing we get Seb. to pedal now. Instead yeah. of votes and instead of uh, choose your own adventures, it's we all, get to push ourselves. It's all like ourselves. and subscribe. Yes. Is, that what the, is that what kids have to do uh, on YouTube? Like, like, and, like and subscribe. Yeah, all the good stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, the wonderful uh, suggestion we have from <laughs> one of our fans was uh, comment and subscribe. So, oh yeah, it was. Yeah, which is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, it, we should probably throw in that we did actually get um, an awesome bit of uh, community um, art from our old favorite uh, Omed Honey, and yes, he created this awesome graphic of uh, of our character yeah. uh, instead of with dog meat with cow meat, as we were suggesting. Yes, the character, <laughs> the unnamed character. Yes. yes. Uh, we'll have to come up with a new character name. We will, but that's going to be fun. Yeah. Got loads of ideas. We'll take suggestions in the comments. Please throw them in. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. All right, Seb. Well, uh, that was that was really fun. Yeah. I'm super excited. I can't and wait. We only have to wait till November. That's not that long. Nope. That's, that is that is that is only some months away. Less than five months. Less than five? It's less than five that's months. really soon. Yes. Yeah. I can I, count those on one uh, hand. I'm excited. Okay, cool. Let us know how excited you are, and mm -hmm. we'll be back soon with more Cam and Seb video.